The crash just a few miles off the strip, leaving one man dead and an apartment building fully evacuated. That crash happening near Maryland Parkway in Desert Inn. Police say a speeding driver slammed into a home right there. Madison Kimber on the story all day live on scene after talking to neighbors. Madison. Yeah, this area of desert in Maryland Parkway is no strangers to cars zipping by at all hours of the day. You'll actually hear some workers are still assessing this area. And today's crash, just another reminder of how dangerous speeding can be to those living nearby. The uh, black vehicle that you see over there uh, embedded in the structure it was traveling at a high rate of speed westbound here on Desert Inn. Uh, somewhere along the way, the driver lost control. He left the roadway and impacted the structure. A life lost in an instant as a speeding driver collides right into the wall of these Desert Inn apartments. The crash happening around 4 Monday afternoon. The driver found dead on scene as police evacuated the neighbors due to the building inspector deeming the complex unsound. Speeding along Desert Inn, a chronic problem, says resident Jody Templeton. We just heard a really large crash. Um, but again, that's kind of a common thing around here. So it's already a 45 mile an hour speed limit which people go in excess of that quite often. Uh, we've had plenty of people crash into our walls. Uh, we've had to repair them several times. Residents of the complex who live right upstairs from where the crash occurred says they immediately felt the impact, luckily not getting hurt in the process. Like at a split second, everything happened like, everything was like shaking like, holy hell, was that a bomb? That, like I thought. Like, and after that, I went, like, I went downstairs and I saw, like, everything happening, like, the car and stuff. But the good thing is there was no one inside, like, below us. Compio says the damage to his apartment was mild with a crack in the wall. But even so, he and his family were told to evacuate immediately. Again, other than the driver, no one else was hurt in the crash. And the Red Cross is assisting in those that have been displaced. As I said, you can hear the workers are still here assessing the situation. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, Live Local Now.